Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. It's only going to be a short and sweet one today as I'm reviewing this head torch that you can see in front of you. What you're looking at is a Sunblesser H11 and I was lucky enough to get one sent out for me to review. So if you're in the same situation I was, having never owned a head torch before, or you've got one but it's just not the best, then stick around as you might like this one. The head torch itself is currently retailing at $22.99 as you can see on the screen, which is a really good price when compared with others in the industry, and also the amount of features this one has. On the screen at the moment you can see that the bottom has a waterproof USB-C port for charging, and then on top it has an R button which controls the red and green features of the head torch and also a power button, keeping it nice and simple. It's also lockable which can be done by pressing the power button and the R button at the same time. This can be done when the device is off or on and it'll lock in that position. It comes in a really nice zip case which is strong so you can pack it without worrying about crushing it or anything like that and also it contains a manual and charging port inside. I'm going to quickly run over the modes indoors and then we'll head outside to test it in the real world. What you're looking at at the moment is the lowest mode it has to offer which is 2 lumens but it has a runtime of 200 hours which is ideal for those long nights in the tent as the dark comes in early these days or if you're on a long hike, multi day trip or anything like that. Next up is the second of four white modes that the head torch has to offer, which is 38 lumens and has a runtime of 20 hours. As you can see with the third white mode, it really jumps up in brightness. It's 190 lumens on this setting and has a runtime of 5 hours, which is still decent for the output. If you hold down the power button for 1.5 to 3 seconds, it then switches to the max white mode, which has 365 lumens as output and lasts for 40 minutes. As well as the four main white modes, it also has strobe white, green, low and high mode, and red, flashing, SOS, and static. Just currently on the way to the gym. If anyone lives in Manchester or around the area, you've probably been to Vimto Park. That's where I'm headed now and a little detour on the way just to test out the head torch. But it's really cold, so I'm gonna pop my uh, buff on and I'll see you in a sec. Buff on, all good to go. Nearly there now. I haven't got the head torch on currently, but I'm about to put it on now. I'm gonna use this tree as a canvas, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the lowest setting on. As you can see, you can see it a little bit, nothing crazy. This would be good if you're in a tent, something like that, or you're just worried about the battery and you want it to last for as long as possible. Now I'm going to crank it up to medium. As you can see straight away, it's a lot more prominent. The tree's getting lit up a lot more. And you're just getting a lot more coverage overall. Now I'm going to crank it up to high, which is three clicks. And as you can see, it's a lot more prominent again but you get some really good visibility there's a little bit of natural light coming from over there but still you can see that it's lighting up the area really well i'm now going to put it on the high setting which you can get to by either cycling up to high and then holding for a few seconds or if it's off completely you can just hold down for a few seconds then let go and it goes straight to high as you can see, it's really good coverage for such a small head torch. And one of the cool features about it is after 30 seconds, it automatically dims down to avoid damaging the head torch or breaking it completely, which you'll see it do in a second. A few moments later. A little bit longer. There you go. So that about wraps up this review. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. I appreciate every one of you. 
If you can, please like, comment and subscribe, every little helps. And next time you're out buying something, don't always just jump for the most expensive or the best reviewed one, as I've been guilty of doing many times myself. But as this review has showed today, you can get good quality products just as good as the top brands out there and save yourself some money in the process. For anyone that is interested in looking into it more, I'll leave the link in the bio. And again, thanks for watching. Peace out.